Bible question of the day. Is Daniel 11 verse 40 prophecy and history being repeated now? NATO playing the role of the southern king and Putin and Russia playing the northern king? That's the question. So let's look at the uh, the book of Daniel here, 1140. And we're going to read this together. And we're going to look at the cross-reference to see if that's what it represents. So it says, And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots, and with horsemen, and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries, and shall overflow and pass over. So let's look at that. We're going to look at the cross-reference here to Daniel 11, verse 40. And we're going to look at where it states the section here where it says, The king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him. So we're going to look at the king of the south here. And we're going to see this section here, the king of the south. And we're going to look at this cross-reference in Ezekiel. So we're going to go down to Ezekiel 38. Ezekiel 38, whoops, pass it up. Let's read verse 14 through 18. So it says, Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto Gog, Thus saith the Lord God, In that day when my people of Israel dwell it safely, shall thou not know it? And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them rising upon horses, a great company and a mighty army. And thou shalt come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter days, and I will bring thee against, the, against my land, that the heathen may know me, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus saith the Lord God, Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants, the prophet, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring thee against them? And it shall come to pass at that same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come up, shall come up in my face, that my fury shall come up in my face. So this is speaking of God's land of Israel. This is his land. So when he says the fury shall come up in his face. So we're looking at a metaphor here. This metaphor is regarding the land of Israel. So it's not regarding Russia or NATO.